on the um it's on like the google uh clickbait page i don't know what else to call it um as you can see federal judge backs firing of indiana teacher who refused used to use transgender students names and pronouns and like i said in my uh an eagle shut up i swear to god video about the united states indiana is like one of the most racist states i've ever heard of personally honestly like one of the most racist people i've ever met have been from indiana so maybe everyone who live maybe everyone who lives there is just a dumbass but i digress um an indiana music theory teacher and what's funny about this is like um this the google clickbait page has shit tons of articles just like this one and what's funny is that well, obviously therefore it's clickbait because they know that that bullshit gets clicks but also like they're they're trying so hard to be like oh yeah this guy got fired but meanwhile it's like so wrong that he got fired for this let's just read it quickly i talk fast an indiana music theory teacher pushed out of his job for refusing to call trans trender students their preferred names and pronouns took a hit from a federal judge friday who upheld a lower court's ruling that the school district did not violate his rights okay well it absolutely did because you are not permitted to fire someone for their beliefs that's literally against the law so this is really bad that a federal judge was fucking stupid enough not to see that transgenderism is in fact a religious belief transgenderism is a religious cult that's taken the country by storm okay and we are being such horrible examples to other english-speaking countries and other countries in general as americans we're supposed to be examples here and we're being shitty okay um former high school teacher klug sued the school district alleging religious discrimination after he cited his personal religious convictions for refusing to abide by the name and pronoun policy which is religious the name and pronoun policy is transgender religion um transgender uh beliefs right opting to address transgender students by their last names instead okay well that's fair also like I, I, I can't remember any specific instance, but I know when I was in school, like, like kids would try to switch spots when, when a sub showed up or they would even say stupid shit. Like, um, I know kids had, had nicknames when I was in school. Like maybe they had nicknames with their friends and they would sometimes be like to their, to the teacher, they'd be like, yeah, well, I want you to call me, I want you to call me Blaze cause that's my nickname. And the teacher would be like, no, I'm, I'm not going to call you that. Your name is you know, Kevin, I'm going to call you Kevin. That's your legal name. Um, school district, after enacting the policy in 2017, wow, initially agreed to let this guy use last names to address students instead. Okay. Um, gender identity can be kept from parents avoiding preferred pronouns can cause a death. That is some horse shit. And, uh, look how, look how, look what great, um, Look what great, like, grooming material this is. Like, kids... I don't remember what I was watching. Oh, it was, uh... I was watching The Programmer. I was watching her get interviewed by Whose Body Is It? And she was saying how kids are really drawn to bright colors. They are. You know, these really bright rainbow colors are very appealing to children. So they see them and they're like, oh, cool. And then they, then they want to listen, right? So it's... <laughs> it's total and complete fucking grooming behavior it's just like these child molesters who are like hey do you want some candy like okay some students alleged the move created an uncomfortable classroom experience and singled out students who identified as trans trender and reported their concerns what absolute toddlers honestly like you oh my god okay um there was a kid when I went to school and he lied that he had legally changed his last name and he actually got away with it because he, he did. He, he lied that he had legally changed his first and last name and he got away with it because he actually did it very like skillfully. He would say like I actually legally changed my name and like the school district like when I was um, this was a kid like that had gone to this school for a while though but he was he would say they just haven't gotten like my name has not been officially changed in the school registry yet but he was going by a normal name it wasn't like um he was trying to be called fucking blaze or whatever the fuck but 
It was literally just a normal name. Like his name was one thing and he went by a different, and then he was going by a different name. Like anyway, uh, teacher said he resigned in 2018. Oh, in I N N nice spelling error. After the school reevaluated the last name policy and told him he would be fired if he did not comply with the preferred name and pronoun rule on the books. He sued with the health conservation group Alliance defending freedom. A year later, alleging workplace discrimination. Okay, well, it is workplace discrimination. Completely and totally. And, like, why? <laughs> why are why are these children, like, being, being um, placated here? Why are we placating these delusional children who want to go by different names? And, like, is it is it really that big of a fucking deal? It's really that big of a deal that this one music theory teacher didn't want to ca call kids by their imaginary pronouns so much so that you fired him? Chicago-based 7th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled Friday that his religious convictions on the issue disrupted classroom operations. That's because he's, the trans cult teaches children to be brats. Instead of saying, like, because when he quote-unquote misgenders someone, which really rarely would have happened, all the kids are like, eh, eh, you know, they're like throwing out their pacifiers and getting on the floor and pounding fists on the floor being like that's the wrong pronoun you're not playing the pronoun game mr klug a clue actually means smart in german so that's funny um it's not spelled exactly like that though um upholding an indiana judge's previous ruling that the f refusal created an undue hardship on the district well, the undue hardship on the district, idiots, is that this guy is pointing out that the trans trend is in fact harmful and or he's just not agreeing to it. And instead of listening to that and being like, hey, dude, what are your concerns? They're like, OK, we're going to fire you. Brownsburg has demonstrated as a matter of law that the requested accommodation worked an undue burden on the school's educational mission by harming trans transgender students and negatively impacting the learning environment for transgender students. For other students, includes classes and in the school generally and for faculty. Wow. Wow. Okay, I don't think we need to read any more of this, but <sighs> this is exhausting and wrong. This is legitimately wrong. Okay, it is legitimately wrong that these children as young as middle school age are using imaginary pronouns. It's legitimately wrong that schools are encouraging it. It's legitimately wrong that parents are encouraging it. Okay? If you actually change your name, okay, actually change your name, but you shouldn't be so fucking weak in your own convictions that you have a goddamn temper tantrum every time someone uses your imaginary wrong pronoun. I don't agree with trans -trenderism. That's I've made that really fucking obvious. But if that's really the life you want to live and you're an adult, I can't stop you. But also, in that case, if you are a woman, you are a man living as a transgender person, you have to be realistic about it and you have to understand that people are going to misgender you. That is life, okay? I'm sorry, you know? Like, people... Um, people change their names legally. They don't even change their pronouns or whatever the heck. People do change their, their legal first names, right? But they understand that other people who are very used to them are, are maybe not going to call them by their now legal name immediately, right? Because that's what's called being mature. Unlike these trans trenders. But anyway, this video is too long. Bye-bye.